Hello, it's John Heaton, and uh, today I'm going to take you through some of my favorite ballads of all time. Um, so I chose, I started off trying to choose my top 10, and then that quickly grew to top 15, and then top 20, and I've ended up with about 25 songs to show you here. Not necessarily my all-time favorites, but just some which I picked, and I tried not to pick too many of one artist. Um, so they're not all love songs, but uh, I think they all classify as ballads. Um, and uh, they, they're pretty moving, in my opinion, for various reasons. Um, so I started off with Accidentally Like a Martyr from Warren Zevon's 1978 album, Excitable Boy, which I think is a very moving song. And then I've got uh, Ripples from Genesis, the first post Peter Gabriel album. Phil Collins taking the lead, and I think that's a beautiful track. And then I've got uh, James Taylor um, from the Gorilla album, the track Wondering, uh, which I think is just glorious, with glorious harmonies and just, just a beautiful song. I've always loved that one. I think it's a cover, actually. I don't think he wrote it, but um, traditional, it says. Uh, and I've got the Steve Winwood ballad, Slow Down, Sundown, from Ark of a Diver, which came out... Um, the very end of 1980. I was going to choose There's a River from Talking Back to the Night, but I couldn't find my vinyl <laughs> of it. Uh, searched in vain for that. Um, then I've got a track from Bad Fingers 1970 No Dice album called Midnight Caller, which is Pete Ham on glorious form, just a brilliant melody. Um, then I've got the title track from Dire Straits, Brothers in Arms. Um, I know I said a few negative things about post making movie star straights but this title track is absolutely sublime and uh, for me far, by far and away the best track on this album uh, Mark Knopfler's on fire on this track um, then I've got a single which I don't have to show you Three Times a Lady by the Commodores yes it's slushy sentimental but I love it to bits and I, I loved it when it came out and I still do I think it's uh, a great song writ written and sung by Lionel Richie performed by the Commodores, number one hit single from 1978. Now, then I've got uh, Sad and Deep as You from Dave Mason's Alone Together debut solo album 1970, uh, which is often overlooked. Um, it's a pretty d damn good album and Sad and Deep as You is one of the best songs. That they did he did perform it with Traffic on the Welcome to the Canteen live album from 71. Um, then I've got a Lennon track the last track on this album, Nobody Loves You When You're Down and Out, which I think is just a glorious ballad. He'd, he'd sat on this for 12 months or so. He'd written it in 73, but he wasn't in the right frame of mood, right frame of mind to record it, so he waited. And then I think he produced a, a great version on Walls and Bridges. And the demo on the anthology is also wonderful. Um, and I've got a track from Stevie Wonder's uh, songs in the key of life the track I've chosen is Joy Inside My Tears which is maybe it goes on a minute or two too long but uh, it's just a, a lovely love song and uh, very heartfelt um, so I love that one and then we've got The Stones I was going to choose Waiting on a Friend but I couldn't find my copy of To Two You so I chose the last track on this album Emotional Rescue All About You with Keith on the lead vocal which I think is very nice and very underrated um, what have we got next? Uh, Nielsen, the Moonbeam song from his famous Schmielsen album. Uh, just a lovely vocal and a lovely melody. Um, who plays on this song? John Uribe, Klaus Vormann, um, and Nielsen, just those three by the look of it. Uh, lovely song. My Love, My Life from ABBA, a, a true album track highlight not a single you won't find it on Albert Gold but uh, it's one of those solid album tracks which is just sensational and there's a video to most Albert tracks on YouTube so you can find them singing that a great video version um, so that was ABBA and then we've got Lord Is It Mine from Breakfast in America um, Roger Hodgson uh, sensational ballad uh, just just perfection really um, lovely words and lovely vocal and Roger's playing great piano on it and 
the band turn in a really good performance. Um, the Light That Has Lighted the World from George Harrison is next from the Material World album. I think I've chosen a less obvious track, could have chosen some other ballads of his, but I've chosen that one because I think it's uh, overlooked. Um, then I've got the glorious Beach Boys in my room. Uh, sensational harmonies, um, just one of their best tracks ever, not just one of their best early tracks, one of their best tracks ever. Um, absolutely wonderful. Sorry to overuse the same words. And then number seven, I haven't got the single to show you, but it's a single by a gentleman called Randy Van Warmer, um, 1979, Just When I Needed You Most. And it's a very heartfelt song about you left me just when I needed you most. And it's a good song to play when you've, when you've lost someone. Um, very moving. Uh, love it to bits. And then I've got the Bob Dylan track next, When the Deal Goes Down. Uh, people keep on saying he's writing about his impending death, but he's still with us. <laughs> and this album was from 2006, and they were saying that about Time Out, time out of Mind in 97. So, um, but it's very moving words. And uh, yeah, I just, just, just actually speechless listening to that. I think it's such a great track. And maybe the melody was nicked from somewhere or other I was reading, but who cares? Um, and then I've got Wild as the Wind, the last track from uh, Station to Station, 1976. Bowie, uh, again, it's a cover version, but he does a sensational version of it, and it's probably the best cut on the album. Although it's, as you saw in my rankings, it's my number one David Bowie album, so it's up against some stiff competition. Um, so that was great. And then I've got Redemption Song from Bob Marley's last album Uprising from 1980, um, just just really moving words and a great melody and it's just stripped down, it's just Bob and the guitar and very little else and uh, it's very heartfelt. And then I've got, oh dear, I, I haven't got the 461 Ocean Boulevard album but I've chosen Please Be With Me um, from Eric Clapton. Uh, just just a beautiful song with beautiful harmonies and 461 was such a great album. People say post Layla he, he went commercial but he didn't quite go commercial that quickly. Um, I think in the 70s he turned out a, a string of great albums and uh, please, be with, please, please Be With Me and Let It Grow are two of the highlights from 461, could have chosen either. And then I've got Neil Young's Already One very sentimental song from Comes a Time about the divorce and uh, having a son involved, and very moving words. I think the uncut Ultimate Music Guide gave this track one star, which I found, found disgraceful. I think it's a great track. I mean, yes, it is quite sentimental, but uh, it's very heartfelt and you can't fault that. Um, and then I was Coming in at number one, I've got three three songs tied for first place, although this isn't really in order. Um, but I've got I'm Carrying from Wings, which if you've watched my channel, you probably know is one of my favourites, Paul McCartney songs or Wings songs. Uh, just brilliant. Um, then I've got the, t the opening track from Tusk, over and over. Christine McVie's beautiful melody, beautifully sung, beautifully played by the band. Uh, just an unheralded track really. People go on about rumours but they don't tend to go on about Tusk and they don't tend to go on about that track for, for some reason. I think it's sensational. And then we've got American Tune from here. Um, there goes Rhyming Simon, 1973, um, which is just a standard, no less. Uh, Del Newman does great strings on here and it's a beautiful tune, although maybe he he did nick it from some old hymn, but uh, again, you know, music is everyone's really at the end of the day, and it was quite an old hymn, so I don't think there was any copyright involved. Um, so that was difficult to choose. As you could see, I, I could, no way I could narrow it down to a top ten. I'd have left out millions of favourites of mine, but this was just a, a sample from my collection of my favourite ballads and a much maligned... Um, art form, uh, you know, people slag them off and say they're too sentimental or soppy, 
but I think there's a, a valid place for, for ballads and, and these are some of my favourites. So thank you for watching. See you next time.